It's Ron Brown from Silvercom Computer and Technology Club. Today I'd like to discuss how to install Android apps on your computer. Apps on a Chromebook can be installed from two places. The Chrome Web Store or the Google Play Store. Chromebooks made in 2017 or after will have the Google Play Store installed. Chromebooks before 2017 will have the Chrome Web Store installed. Let me show you on my Samsung Chromebook Plus what it will look like. Here you'll see I have both. I have the uh, web store and I have the Play Store because my computer was built in 2017. We now are going to go to the web store, the Chrome web store, and you will see there are extensions, there's themes, and there's apps and games. These can all be installed on your Chromebook from the Chrome web store. All Chromebooks will have this on them. If your Chromebook was built after 2017, it will also have the Play Store installed. Click on this and this will bring up the Android Google Play Store. This is exactly what you would be seeing on your Android phone with games, apps, movies, etc. that you can install on your Chromebook. Chromebooks can run both the web version and the Android app. This is a huge advantage in having a Chromebook. I want you to look at the bottom of your screen in the red rectangle. You're going to see two icons of Google Photos. Confusing, right? You are going to see two icons of PowerPoint. Let's have a look and see what these are. You'll see the Google Photos, you'll see the Google Photos is a white circle with the Google Photos icon in it and then the or you'll see the PowerPoint with a white circle around it. What is the difference? The ones with the white circle are the apps. So now you're seeing we're bringing up the Google app. Now, in most cases, the apps are more functional than the website. So when I click the second button here, it brings up the web. So this is Google Photos on the web. And this is Google Photos with the Google Photos app. Now you can see the same thing when I show you the PowerPoint. PowerPoint white circle is an app, which we bring up. And the other one is the PowerPoint online. Again, um, the difference between the two, one is an app and one is the online version. A very popular app is called Snapseed, and this is a photo editing app that we use in Google Photos. It is only available as an Android app, which is difficult to use on a small cell phone. This is an extremely big advantage when you're using this on a Chromebook because you have a big screen and can use this very popular app with a keyboard and mouse. You'll see Snapseed here is installed on my Chromebook. I'm able to bring it up and open the app. I'll bring in a picture.
And here you'll have all the tools that you can use to edit your um, Google Photos picture with the Snapseed app. Enabling Play Store in settings. I wanted just to go over the settings within the Play Store for Android apps. Let's go to our settings and we'll come up to settings and we're going to scroll way down until we come to the Google Play Store. Now, you should have this installed if your Chromebook was 2017 or later, and it should be turned on. So when we go to the settings now, we can manage our Android preferences here. When you click on this, you'll see all your Android preferences that you can turn on or off. And I'm not gonna go through all those menus. I'm not sure why you would ever wanna do this, but you can remove all your Android apps in this tab here. Uh, we're gonna certainly cancel that. I wouldn't wanna do that. But this is where you can turn on and off the Google Play Store. If you are new to a Chromebook, you will need to install your Android apps. The Android apps on your phone are not automatically installed on your Chromebook. And also, please remember to make sure you update the apps. In summary, Install apps from two locations on a Chromebook. They can be installed from the Chrome Web Store and the Google Play Store, depending on the age of your computer. It's Ron Brown with Silvercom Computer and Technology Club. Enjoy your Chromebook.